Tramways, say Hartford's Civic Society, make it easier to get around, make a town attractive, a place to live, work and play. The Society asks Hertfordshire councillors to make tramways a serious option. Revise the A414 strategy. The evidence makes tramways a mainstream option. It's no one's fault. We've lost the habit. Overlooked the technological changes to trams and achievements on the continent. Tramways go everywhere, even up hills says expert Reg Harmon. There's one famous picture in the tramway community of the hill up to the city centre at Le Mans, which is a long and a steep hill up to the centre of St Albans from St Albans Abbey, something that many people in Hartford yes. would know, yes. um, and trams climb that uh, quite conveniently. Tramways go round sharp corners, mix with the cars and people. It's possible to run trams in city traffic. It sticks to its track. You know how wide it is. A tram can accelerate and decelerate with cars if it has to. Tramways can make Hartford easier to get around and attract visitors. So where would the tram go through Hartford? Right, from Hartford East it would um, pick up the old alignment closed 50 years ago and will go across the car park at the edge of Sainsbury's and round through Lower Benjo to Hartford North Station. At Hartford North it would then follow the route round the Hartford North to London Line and head west across to Hatfield. This would enable it to actually serve the town centre by a station round about the Sainsbury's. Tramways can meet global pollution targets and make a difference to our daily lives. Uh, for example, um, I mean, we occasionally go to St Albans, as you do, John. The, um, it's a very long trip. If you've got a tram running at regular intervals, well, you can do it. And yes, it's a slightly long hop, whereas the tram, you get off it, you don't have to worry about the vehicle, you get back on it at the end of the, your visit. And the time? I can't guarantee it's going to be uh, quicker. What it will be is vastly more reliable. So it's actually the journey time may not be an improvement. The overall time, your reliability of it, your relaxing on it are far, far better because you know how long you're going to have to wait for a tram. You know the tram will run to show. In fact, know what time you'll be home. And tramways have a significant economic advantage. A line to reach a large range of destinations. I've reckoned that my proposed tramway across the county will cost about a billion pounds and that's taking a purely ballpark figure of 20 billion pounds per kilometre for a 50 kilometre route. Um, it could be a bit less uh, and it does assume that a lot of immediate local road improvements, environmental improvements and that come as part of the package. Um, the Hartford Southern Bypass is now estimated to be up to half a mil billion purely for removing peak traffic from part of Hartford. So, which is better benefit? I would argue the tramway is vastly more value for money. Tramways all the way from Watford to Broxbourne, one billion. Southern Bypass just for Hartford, half a billion. Now let's look to the continental experience and the serious benefits discovered there. We've rather let things drift in a way some of our continental neighbours have not done. They have intervention in sort of developing modern public transport systems and particularly tram-based ones. Germans and the people of the Low Countries have never stopped doing it. Some nations, like the French, got rid of all theirs. They have put back very large numbers of city tramways and have benefited greatly. Then other cities have been able to go and see those and say, yes, well, we want that. Let's look at the value of having it. They then know what it's worth spending to actually do it. Yes, a tramway is an ex more expensive than, say, just building a bus way, probably. Although if you're going to give clear priority for buses, you're going to clear an awful lot of road space and you get a lot of values out of it um, in terms of accessibility, supporting um, jobs, um, improving health, uh, reducing pollution. 
Tramway lines, not bus services. Plus, a change in attitude equals getting around easily. Jobs, health, clean air and something more and really important. Trams make spaces more attractive for people. They completely change the character of a place. They make um, it much more accessible. You're reducing um, car movement, but yet there's more people in and around. They have about much less pollution and um, they just generally make the city more livable by everybody. Um, good cities with trams are generally very good places to be in and around. In the face of all this evidence, the civic society believes councillors could reconsider tramways as a realistic and attractive option for Hertfordshire's A414 corridor strategy. What's wrong with the A414 strategy now, as you see it? It's not concerned with the travel through and within and between the set of towns, except in so far as it affects um, measured traffic figures on the trunk road. The strategy is not backed by adequate transport data. A full survey of travel needs is required. Surely Hertfordshire County Council have done some traffic surveys? Oh yes, but these are surveys of traffic on the core roads. They're not surveys of movement overall or the opportunities for where they should be improving at local level uh, and say on shorter interurban journeys. Our argument, trams are relaxing, reliable and attractive to everyone. Trams can reach anywhere and mix safely with traffic. Trams run efficiently on electricity and don't cause pollution. Trams change travel habits and make places more attractive and friendly. The cross-county tramway will save wasteful road building and help in the fight against climate change. A final word from Reg Harmon. A tramway would certainly change behaviour in such a way that you wouldn't need to build a southern bypass to Hartford. A tramway would make travel through Hartford, east, west and maybe elsewhere um, much more attractive. Make tramways mainstream is the Civic Society message. If you agree, contact your councillors at Hertfordshire County and East Hearts level. Keep an eye on our website and let us know your views on our blog. Make sure Hertfordshire has the option for a tramway future for you and your family.